Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Grand Mafia. Today I want to bring another episode about this game since I'm still playing this game. As everybody know, my influence now is around 473 million influence and uh, actually I could be higher, but I will, I'm not talking about that. I'll probably talk about it later. But today I want to bring the topic about winning the government war. All right, so, because currently we I can pretty much like give the give the conclusion we won the government war. This government war, I think, in general, people want to talk about like government war four. But uh, in the game, it's called uh, what's it called the season of chaos, right? Uh, I think he mentioned it here the season of chaos, <coughs> blood of treachery, blood of tra treachery. Uh, by the way, I just did my eye surgery so last week, so. My vision is still like recovering, so that's why I'm not wearing glasses. But at the same time, like, cause you, you know, you know, like this game, the text, especially on the map, pretty, pretty small, so I could like miss something if that happened. Please bear with me, All right? So we won the game, government war this time already. So of course we won the central government building, right? So I'm with the faction called AMF. So if, if you don't know AMF, a, a mad, a big mad family. Once, once a while before I was making fun of them because we did pretty bad in Government War 3 at the time we are pretty much a farmer fa faction for S2C but they lost the war and they were, and the end up with like uh, we didn't do anything in that Government War so I was making fun since uh, if we AMF we are big a big mad farmer so but this time like we like we, we, we did by ourselves so we won Government War as you see, like the inference for this faction is incredibly strong, eighty-five billion inference. What's the, what's the? Let me see what's the ranking for us as a global, global ranking, right? Not player ranking, but the faction inference ranking. So our ranking is respectable, which is thirty-one, right? Pretty good ranking. We are at the same level as like uh, some other factions, like those things you see, like. AZX, I know they're pretty strong. And the uh, IGF, right? They are they are the old school, but they always strong, right? We are at the same level of those factions. And the uh, and uh, not only we occupy the century building, but also like we occupy the century building for like the desert and the zone three. Zone three means all those area, right? And the uh, let me let me show you. Where are they? Uh, this. Uh, I think now we give the those building to the to our allies and also, yeah, the the other factions. But uh, we, we 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 occupied all of them, right? All occupied all of them like this one, the Sanchu. I think the Sanchu building, right? The down down court and also the. There are one building here as well, so we are occupying this one, right? So we occupied our most of the buildings, and because uh, this is the end of the game, so we might as well just give to our allies, just give to the other factions, which is they they did a deal with us. So today I want to talk about like uh, how AML grow, how they win the government war, and what they did really well, and what they didn't do did really well. And uh, what I did, like in this government war, so gives you some idea and experience about how to play the game to win the government war, right? So that's the topic of today. So let's get started. <clears throat> First, what AMF did to win the government war? So as I mentioned at the beginning, this faction was in government three. It's pretty much a farmer faction. So our uh, when I joined this faction, they they are very new. I think at the time we were in cities 403 or 402, I can't remember. But that was a while ago, so I was looking for a faction, so I was changing faction. So if you want to find my, my past, you can check my past videos. But at the time I was like trying to find a good faction to grow with, so therefore I made a video about like how to choose a good faction. At that time, AMF if not strong, I think they are, they, at the time they pretty having have some difficult time. I think the uh, influence is around three thirty billion influence. 
also because they are low, relatively low in firms, so the requirement for joint faction is pretty low. I think it's they only looking for somebody with three hundred million in firms or above at the time. I'm qualified, so I speak with the the R five, says so can I join you guys, and uh, yeah, my application got accepted, so that's how I joined them, and the, then we start like following like we I found this faction like. Even they have some heavy hitters in the factions. When I say heavy hitters, means they have some strong raid leaders, which have like more than one billion influence. Like, <clears throat> but uh, cause like we are farmer faction, so most of the heavy hitters, they be borrowed by S2C, which is another faction, but they fought off already since in Governor's War 3, they lost. And uh, at the time, like we joined the factions and uh, I joined the faction and joined Governor's War 3. And we didn't do well in that faction. We didn't even fight at all. So we purely farm, donate every week. We donate incredible amount of resource, which means not just ten million diamond, but also ten million other resource except the cash, right? To the bank and uh, and the, those money, of course, go to S two C to support their fight. And uh, we didn't do anything. We purely just farm factions. And every musket day we just bubble, and then yeah, so that is pretty terrible occurrence. To be honest, like I, I was pretty disappointed because I'm not like a farmer at all. So I like to fight. So to to to, to see like what I did in, in this like what I did, you can see like I got not crazy, but forty eight million kills for myself, and also just in this government war. Look at my casualties. I I didn't get it as like a top. I usually just attack other players to join the raid. But look at like this one. I I have one point one million deaths, and among those one million one one point one million deaths, like they all T four troops, right? <laughs> I have like twenty six T three, two T two, and a one. <laughs> Three, I have 20 and 26 T3 deaths and the 3 T2 deaths and the rest of them like 1.1 million like a T4 deaths but for, of course like people can argue like other player they have they lost more but uh, keep in mind I'm a free to play player I didn't spend any money on this game I'm able to like contribute this much is already uh, for me I'm satisfied with my achievements and the my my turf I got a seven point one million troops and uh, they are pretty much like even like one point one million for each T four troops except the cars and one point one million troops for T two. I don't like T three. One day I might just dismiss all T three because I find T three they 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 they're nothing. They they they're purely just like free points, free free kills for the other player during the gun war. So I don't train T three troops at all. So <coughs> Okay, so then yeah, that was the past. So after after government war three, because S two C lost the government war, so I think we got our heavy hitters back to our faction. So which including I think there is a major player. His name called Justice. This this guy. <clears throat> so he back to us, and also other other faction like other S two C members start joining us, and uh, then. In, the influence battle power for AMF rapid, rapidly like increase because we are increasing our influence so fast. So more, more heavy hitter start joining us. Like, I uh, we moved to city three hundred eighty five and uh, to work with PPY, and uh, they also have their like I believe this dude is coming from PPY, right? This guy. And then those heavy hitters start joining us, like make like AMF even stronger. So at the time, everybody know we have a chance to win the next government war. So they start joining us. So that is how we started. And when we step into this government war, of course we are looking at uh, who who are in our groups and uh, who are our opponents. So if we look at the map, we will clearly able to find. I find there is a bug of this game, right? You see, there is a uh, like a. Stronghold for like and, and I think at the time like our stronghold is level six or something pretty low, but uh, only just in this game war we managed to level up our stronghold to level ten. So that means how fast we grow during this government war. 
Alright. Finally, this, is, this game has a bug. Like, if you just zoom out like this, like, the map will going to show, right, all the other factions stronghold and then they are sub stronghold, right? Other, other stronghold, like those, you can see that, right? And of course, I have those, oh, you probably can't see. Yeah, I have those two things, toggle the arm, which is like, I want to shoot the faction building. But if you, let's say, if you just click on the map icon here, and just look at here. Oh, no, I think they fix. Yeah, they fix. Before, like, they are not showing the stronghold if you looking by, like, this. So every time when I want to see, oh, where are their, where are their stronghold, I have to do like this and to find out their stronghold. But if glam glad they fix them. So I'm not going to rubble about that now. So, okay, so <clears throat> we look at our, our, who is in our teams, right? Who is in our group, which is this area? Where's my mouse? Here. So we are the ego. We are the ego. Like, let me just like, uh, uh, come on. Yeah. So maybe this one looks better. Yeah. So, so you see the every ego sign. So we are the egos. E. We are the ego group. So we, the first thing first is look at like, uh, who are in our group. So I keep miss clicking things because I, I'm not wearing glasses, my vision is still recovering, so, but I'm not going to wrong, bitching about that, so, it's all right. And so, then we, in Government War 4, there is a system called the Faction Alliance, right, which is here. So, we pick up our alliance, and then, then and this, of course, we're not going to attack our alliance, but instead, we're going to work with our alliance. The good things about our alliance is the area which they are connected to, we also have a connection, but, because like the the strengths between us and our lines are so vast, so and then we say we pretty much carry everybody, right? So, and then <clears throat> there was one principles like government war is not about just a faction. It's not just about the line, and it's about if you can get your group, you can get like the can can win government war. Ultimately, of course, as a leader or as the strongest faction in the group, we EMF won't be the number one faction win the government war, right? So I believe for now our faction AMF, my faction AMF, right? Let's see this. Uh, we are number one, absolutely, and it's no question about that. So that's why I said we won the government war. So, so. Before we want to win the government war, we want to make sure like nobody mess us up like at, in the backyard, right? So because there is other group like as you see like there is group like this, the you probably can't see that, but uh, the wolf group, right? And then this is the shark group, right? And then this is the tiger, the tiger group, right? We're going to fight those group members. We want to make sure. Nobody in our group, which is ego group, will mess us up when we were fighting our side. So what do we did? Right, so actually, the, the, I think AMF did pretty good. So, which is, uh, when the first week start on government war, because those checkpoints to the desert, like those things, right? Those like uptown, like well, uptown central checkpoint is not open. So you, you can't go, really go out of area. You can only, cruising around your group area so on the first week before the desert is open the checkpoint is open so we slot everybody except our allies so why can't we talk everybody to let them know what's the strength difference between us there to let them know you guys have absolutely no chance to mess up with us right so we like to let them know right but that is not a, that is not ultimate or like goal for us. So because in the, 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 the checkpoint for the desert is going to open in, I think in two weeks time, right? In the first, like first week is not going to be open. The second week I think I started opening. So after the first round on the Mosquito, we slot everybody. They, I believe the leadership, which is R4 or R5, I don't know, but just they start talking to every single of the faction in our group and telling them look you know like you guys don't have any chance but 
instead we can help you right like if you willing to donate resource to us on a weekly basis we're not going to attack you anymore we guarantee your safety we guarantee your safety. we're not going to attack you and we will we will we will not like let other group member get into our areas and so you can develop peacefully right so but the condition is you guys have to donate resource to us on a weekly basis we will send our bank to your faction to collect those contribution if you're happy with that we give you the protection we're not going to touch you sometimes we can even share the the government building with you right but if you don't sorry we're going to mess up with you every week right so with this policy pretty much 99 percent of the faction they are great to join this agreement except i think 380k this faction they said no right so well that's no problem everybody agreed except you so we start destroying their stronghold their stronghold be destroyed three times so they relocated their three strongholds three times so i think they did it pretty they they, they end up with having to leave the, the government wall for a while then till we start entering zone three which is like pretty much like before we entering the final area we, we enter resource area so they once again they, they they put their stronghold back to the map they want to play again so we say okay we we're still not going to give you protection for protection and we, we're still going to attack you on musket eh? but uh, whatever it is they they, they they know they they know they know they messed up so with this policy everybody in the ego group agree to support us give us resources which give us not just like enough resource but also a very safety back end right you know like most of the times sometimes the player goes offline and during my day or even during the other days people can use uv trap on the boss trap to attack your tiles and then make your make you that uh, capture the on the boss so it doesn't matter where you are even you those section they haven't reached your area like up your up tongue distinct right they the uh, area but they, they can still rage you attack you so by doing this like we we, we pretty much make sure like nobody in ego group mess, mess us up then of course then we start uh, going to the desert when we go into the desert our main we we we, we very quickly identify who will be the main opponent rival we look at the tiger group which is here right the tiger group and then we look at the other groups like the no that is not tiger that is wolf group here. <laughs> sorry sorry i'm retarded my vision is, is messed up and the and tiger group so i don't know what they did but i think they did a talking about to see like if you want to like have a nap no nap means like no aggressive protocol right so it means we don't rake on each other we don't attack each other so we just ignore each other during the game right you do you you do you i do mine we don't mind your business i think at that time like the the, the wolf group they they first they built the bond with us says we're going to the the wolf group they build a bond with us says a oh, lot we go we're not going to attack each other all right so so that's good and for, oh, about shark group this group here right shark group here and then because they did far from us though those we don't really care about them so we don't really i don't know whether we did but i believe at the time they are not our concern at the time even they pretty strong as well and then the remaining is the tiger group the tiger group is pretty strong i have to say and they have like three major factions when it's rf right look at them right look at their influence 50 53 not as crazy as us but the good things the things about them is they 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 are lines like rf and i believe another one called e2c in the e, sorry e2a right rf has 53 and the e2a has 40 43 of course they infer drop a lot because we beat the we beat the shit out of them so and also they have other allies like uh, yeah, ELS I believe this faction this is relatively lower influence and also 
uh, they have another WAP. So they are they pretty much they work together. What's the inference? To, to, yeah, they lost a lot, the majority of their inference already after during this game, government war. So, so, so the the first major battle started like in the desert in this area. So we at the very beginning we are very like doing everything doing very good. So we're pushing all the way to their checkpoints. So and we have a major fight in here and here. At the, so we ma had a major fight at the, the 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 checkpoint. So this is very important because this is the first first fight. If we can't push them out, we, we if we can't win means like we can't they push them out for the desert even at the time they still holding the checkpoint because we are not allowed to raid or talk their checkpoints but if we lost those war mains like we probably will have a bigger problem later on so that is which we learned from the last come war come war three like during the during the desert i think s2c was doing pretty well against the opponent i think that faction called the wi they pretty they did they, they, they to op but uh, they didn't achieve their goal at the time being. So we know this is very this is very strong. If we lose in the desert, we pretty much lose a lot of confidence about we're going to win the Lagama War. So this is, this is critical. But of course, our rivals, the Tiger group, is not going to give up easy. So what we did is we attacked their uh, towers and uh, they triple raid us. Means like... We when we are talking our their towers, our troop our troops are in the in their tower burning their towers. Not just the defender faction, which is raid us, which is I think E two A and I F they raid us, but also all their fact allies like raid us. But at the time, like it's constantly happens like three raids towards our troops at the same time. So that is pretty tough, which requires like very like we we suffering heavy casualty at the time because we are the offending side. That means like when the fire started for us for for them they will only have the wounded soldier as long as they still have capacity in their hospital, but for us we we, we it's a normal fight. We are suffering like deaths for every fight like thirty percent of the lost the soldiers will be counted as dead soldiers and they will not be sent to sanitary or hospital so so at the time it's pretty tough so thanks god at the time so we actually we handle the pressure so the fight lasts for a long time when i say long time not just like one or two battle or one or two hours last for a long time so we're slowly progressing i think last for almost 12 hours no maybe not 12 hours let's say like six or seven hours right like that so then we slowly push them out then everybody can see yes we can do that even the opponent they are triple radars uh, let's let, let me tell you this like they they're they not just like uh, they are good fighters right those these are uh, six for example if let, let's say if right they're very good fighters and uh, uh let's look at their faction Influence ranking like look 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 right you, you see those people can they, they can't fight right they, they, they're very strong they got like a planet uh t4 troops right so and then and then when they do the defense you see how they do the defense they do defense like this like right? Sometimes, like when you build your towers, you try to maximize the land for each tower is able to occupy, right? But for them, they pretty much like build the tower next to back to back next to each other, and uh, every tower they build, right? I think I will give you some example, like here, right? They build tower here. Uh, now it's like now they don't do, but at the time when they build the towers, they not only build a tower like crazy like this kind of like this shit. But also the tower, they all at level three. Yeah, they also do the they all do the level three towers, right at the time. So it's pretty tough at the time. But we slowly push them through. Like we, they we handle the, the the triple, we handle the triple like right at the same time. So what happened is, and we pretty much put it even evenly. Like 
three 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 deployment like thirty three percent of bruisers, thirty three percent of hitmen, three three thirty three percent of of the bikers into the into the tower because you, you don't know what they're going to send to us because they they do the triple raid they can first raid away biker the second raid away with the bruisers the third raid away with hitman or the otherwise the other way around but uh, at the time they were doing that like that and you don't really and it, all those raid also almost happen at the same time you don't have time to review something like because they they launch the first one launched this and after five seconds the, the second faction launched a second raid against the same tower and then on five seconds later, the third, the third faction launched another raid towards us. So pretty much like we have to be strong enough to sit in a tower suffering he heavy casualties and uh, then able to defend those things. I think like at the time, like there is, a, we have a few warriors in our, we have a, well, I have to address those people's name because they are warriors. So like this dude, he falls so hard. And, and uh, of course, and uh, who? Yeah, this R4 fire so hard. He fired so hard. Like, and uh, did I miss? Yeah, and uh, this dude fired so hard. Everybody, and him as well. And of course, we, uh, this, this guy, it pretty much is, he pretty much is like uh, the, the final, like, the reason why they, the the opponent decides to oh we can't handle him because none of them is able to handle his power at the time. So like so that's how we like because his stats are so high. So so that's why at the end so we win the war in the desert. So we win the war in the desert. But of course like uh, when we heavily like fighting here as like a, as a crazy, right? On the other end, this area is also open. So because at the beginning, we already have agreement with the wolf group, right? With the wolf group here. So they didn't, they didn't give us any trouble. They just like progress as normal. So we evenly like occupying the, the government buildings. So there are no fight here. So everything is like a no aggressive protocol. Everything goes fine. So that's the first stage. That's the second stage when we get into the desert. For the first stage, which is we first make sure everybody here, yeah, they respect us, they, they follow our, our rules, right? The second stage is start like attacking the desert area. And that air, that fight is important because if, we, as I said as, uh, at the beginning, if we lost, if we didn't do well, means like when people start losing confidence, the, the, the war will be getting, we won't have a good start. Basically, that's what I mean. So to do that, we focus on one opponent group, which is a tiger group. We're talking those area. We successfully pull, push them out of the desert areas. That's why you see there's still some invader tower here. Right, there's still some invader tower there. So, but we don't mind, we don't, we don't care anymore. And also to make sure we can focus on this area. So we have a nap agreement with the wolf group over there. So that's why there is no major fight happen in this desert area. So once we have done that, then we progress in the into third area, you know, on the third stage. The third stage at the beginning, pretty much zone three, this area is open. So we just come into this area, no dramas, everybody, we know each other already. So we just put it there and uh, we expand area, our areas. And uh, yeah, there no, there not much like a major fight happened during our time, but at the time, after a few weeks time, the middle point checkpoint start open, right? The down, down state middle checkpoint, those areas start open. Okay, so that become the second major war in this gear government war. So, of course, I, at, at that time, like you see, like the, the defense, they thought they are. The defense they put their E two A they put their so they they, they and uh, this is pretty uh, they even put their stronghold in this area to defend us because they know in the first during the first battle in the desert they lost so they know we are not just somebody like just can be easily defeated so they are doing some crazy defense line right they're doing some crazy defense line at the middle checkpoint. 
So the same drill, we start talking. They are talking us first, actually. And uh, we took some damage at the time, but uh, very quickly, the leadership of AMF organized the troops, started like counter-attacking. So this checkpoint, like they, they changed the side, like every five minutes change the time. Sometimes it's on the other side, the, the tiger side. Sometimes it's our, the ego side. So it changed many times. Also at the time, I think their, their major fighter, I, this dude, I think that one of the reasons like they didn't do, do well, maybe that's one of the reasons, but I won't say that's the only reason why they didn't, they lost to us. But their major fighter, which is this dude, you see this dude, like a three billion influence, he was not fighting at all in the desert fight. So that's why we are able to, to overpower like them, like with the, along with the us. But when we fight at the middle checkpoint, this guy come. So suddenly we are under the heavy pressure, says, oh shit, this, this is the difficult, this is difficult, right? So when we fight in the, the middle checkpoint, so those guys are coming to help. They are able to defeat our best players in our faction. But again, I think that guy probably has been played for a long time. So he's kind of semi-retiring state at the time. I mean, maybe at, even right now. So he's semi-retiring. So he, 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 he put some good fight and they push us back but like after a while like he, he moved away he go back to sleep or busy with his stuff so so they the tiger side lost their major fighter and so we able to push back then we start like like we occupy the middle checkpoint so at the time since we won the battle so we start destroying their strongholds and the RF and the A E to A and uh, ESL, they realized, like the, the first they tried to triple rate, it didn't work. During this war, they trying to attack us first and also call their best fighters, but it didn't work. Then they start like they start losing, they start like retreating. We start burning their tower. As you can see, there were so many towers which is invalid at the time. So. Then we start building, like, look at, look at their, their building def defense line. But it doesn't really help because, like, those things only delays, only, only, only delays our progress, right, for going into the government building to access the government building. But government war is a long time, right? It's two months this game, right? So it doesn't really do much things. Like, it give, uh, delayed us for a couple of days, so what? Right, we still we still end up with like getting into everything, get into everything we do we want, get get everything what we want. So that's what we want trying to say. So it doesn't really do much things. So but yes, that what, what I'm trying to say they did their best to defend us. Then after we won the the zone three battle, which is the middle town what's what's it called again? The the up, uh, upstate checkpoint, this upstate checkpoint. So what I'm talking about zone three checkpoint, which is, ah, here we go. The the down, downstate middle checkpoint. So then the grand finale, which is the zone four battle started, right? So everybody knows this is why we here. We want to win the gun war. We need to occupy this building, right? In zone four and all the resources here, they are, they are, they are level seven. Right, so at the time, okay, well, before I move to here, the one thing we found very interesting, which is like we, like normally when we have the zone 4 open, all the diamond tiles in zone 4 are for quick robbery only, right? But for RF, for, for, for Tiger Group, they have uh, some weird like uh, policy, which is all the level 7 diamond tiles are for quick robbery, even including in zone 3. Like in, in this area so but the problem is like most people not happy with that including myself right so like what happened there real time like for our zone zone three we do the normal farming but in their zone three because we occupy the middle checkpoint so it's become quick robbery but i think like most of factions they're not happy with this i think that's a partial reason why they didn't win the government war because 
the 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 policy is not popular. It's not welcome. It's it's unwelcome policy, right? Okay, so let's back to Zone Four battle. So the same thing happened. So when the checkpoint, the the Zone Four checkpoint opened, so the Tiger Group they they built their towers like same as before, like crazy, like next right next to each other. Also, they all I think they went all out. They, they all the towers. They build in zone four. They are level three towers, right? So make sure they have maximum defense, and they have nothing to lose at that time. At that time now, so everybody over there, they fight. They fight so hard. Even they know they are losing, but they constantly raid us back. If we raid their tower, doesn't matter like when and how and how much casualty is. At the time, I lost most of my troops. That's how I lost over one million. Like T4 troops when I as I showed earlier. Oh, by the way, I got this like a Hellcat brand, so that's flex, right? Of course, after that we get after Hellcat become max, and the, this professor, this guy start coming out, right? Like if you see like uh, see his skills, right? He got this, right? Let me just remove myself, right? You can see like there that his skills, but. He, this professor is much harder because like Hellcat every time when you finish Hellcat except for the campaign you get a straight token but for this professor it doesn't matter it's campaign or construction or investment it's just one token the difference is is for the investment you can also use training group to increase influence to achieve the the hell, hell event the professor event so that's something I want to tell let's back to the topic right so at the time, so the defense line is so tough, so tight, and RF and E2A they fight like they they give all they went all the way out, especially RF right E2A they pretty much they know they lost already, ELLs pretty much like give up already. So at the time, pretty much it is a way like one on one fight like between us and RF and the E2A they still come to help a bit, but. But we're able to push them back, but that's the most the, like crazy, bloody battle we ever had. So, like thanks to those players in AMF, which they fight so hard. They I don't, I don't even know they, do they sleep. They seem they, they never sleep. Cause like every time like when we are falling asleep, they fighting. When I wake up, they still fighting like twenty four hours nonstop. Finally, we push them out, and then now. As I mentioned at the beginning, we already have agreement with the 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 with the Wolf Group, right? And we able to push back, we able to defeat the Tiger Group. But what about Shark Group, right? I never talk about the Shark Group, and now they're in Zone Four, right? They are here. So it's 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 not something we can just ignore and pretend it's not exist. They also want to win the Gamma War, and we are fighting with Tiger Group. Even we have agreement with the Wolf Group, but we never have agreement with Shark Group. And they also building. If we are fighting two groups at the same time, we're not going to win, right? Oh, I won't say we're not going to win, but it will be tough. So. But at the time, I think the decision is after we're not going to we're not going to worry too much about the the shark group. Let them do their job, right? Let's just focus on them and pretend they not exist. So we're able to push the tiger group completely out of the zone four. Then we start attacking the shark group. And the Actually, I have to say we were we are a bit lucky because if Shark Group attack us at that time, we we probably not we will probably will have problem with pushing the the Tiger Group because that was like RF that three billion guy they also come to battle in Zone Four right because this is their final final battle, but Shark Group didn't do anything at that time. They just like trying to like connecting building their towers. At the time, we use our allies to block them out. I don't know what happened over there because I was fighting nonstop on this area. Like I was nonstop like fighting in this area, and the, every single tower is a bloody battle. Till we finally connected to this 
checkpoint and we occupy checkpoint and kick them out from the vault. Then we start attacking the shark group here. We start attacking shark group here. At the time, shark group was was here as well. They already built the tower to here, because like before, like the the tiger group, they have all the towers here, and we were here. So like we not we 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 won't fight with shark group at the time because they they we not connecting them. But now since we kick the the tiger group up. So we start connecting with shark group. So we start attacking shark group. I don't know how to get better will be because everybody is very tired already. We have non-stop like like we have non-stop fighting. I think people want to sleep. People have their real life is like happening. So I don't know how much we can handle, but we launch attack. <laughs> it's feel like like World War Two when German which is attacking Russia, and uh, even on the paper. Like、uh, all the battles go so smoothly, we able to rapidly like progress. But we know about ourselves, we tired, and、uh, it's 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 going to if we going to fight the shark group, we don't know if we it's going to be uh, uh, we we don't know we don't know if what's the result will be. It's a, it's a question mark. And then not to mention tiger group, they can always raid back, let get checkpoint back to give us trouble again. So, but doesn't matter. I think at the time we did make decision, decision. We made a decision. We start attacking shark group, and、uh, we start burning shark group, and we able we destroyed a few of them. They their towers, but I can tell at the time, the raids we launch is has has been significantly reduced comparing with the battle with tiger group. But at the time, the good story happened. The shark group start like negotiate with us. They say, look, uh, we like. I think they saw how we, like, like savagely, like, like hammer the tiger group. They know like our battle power. So I think when we were fighting, of course they were watching. They know we, on、um, on、um, we are unstoppable. But they they didn't know is we very tired already. So they said, look, we we they, we're not going to battle with us. Right, we're going to remove our towers to let you through to unblock you. Right, so at the time they were building towers like, like as they were building towers like, like like a tiger group as I showed you earlier. Right, they were building group. They are they are they building their towers like this. Right, they they are building more towers like this in zone four. But at the time they say, oh look, look, dude. So we we we're going to. We're going to remove our towers here to let you through. We don't want to fight you. What about let just rotating, right? So the proposal has been accepted. So everybody finally said,、so, "Oh God, we can sleep now, right? We can sleep now." Like look at us. Our tower looks like this. It's not because we build tower looks like this. Because we occupied RF and A E to A towers. They build like this, and we translate. We we transform their tower become our time. That's how the tower end up looks like this. So this kind of can tell you how the battle looks like, how tough it is at the time. Of course, we remove our tower later on. And then the tiger's group has been pushed out. Has been pushed out. The shark group agreed to rotating with us. The wolf group they already agreed with us at the very beginning, and our group. And the ways able to occupy the central government building without a single fight. When the central government building happens, no fight. I just send one T T T one biker to there, sit there for like eight hours, and yeah, caught the day. Very easy. And as a grade, for the rest of few weeks, like the the rest of group members, the rest of group, they got a chance to touch, to occupy. The century building, and、uh, also because we are、uh, we are already the by default the leader the winner of this government war, so they give agree to give us the final one to us. So that's why now the government war. I think the government only have a few or two or three days left now. How many days is this still left? Is it open? It's still not open. But、uh, oh, preparing time already. So yeah, the government will only have like a, a few days left now. So they. Like we able we occupy the final building, so that's how we win the government war. So if you want me to ask, like, so why we able to win the government war? Number one, of course, our influence is high, where everybody know. And number two, we have very active players, right? 
So those players, they non-stop 24 hours. They, they don't care about the casualties. Even like a lot actually encouraging me as well. Even I'm a I'm pretty like a, a, like offensive style player. I like to attack people, but like I'm not able to do as like, crazy as them. But as still as a free to play player, I I, I contribute 1.1 million T4 troop deaths. So that shows how much like act how much active I was in the race in attacking to to try to win this gun war. So finally, my hard work will be paid out be paid off so we won the government war so much of waiting for the final prize then the two maybe well, i will have some new maybe i will have some new label or maybe some, some something which is to show off i'm a winner of government war four um, uh, so i've been playing this game for almost three years now i think like it's first time like uh, finally i'm able i'm um, become the winner of this government war of course not me it's because the factions and actually, it's, it's, I feel I feel very satisfied. I feel very satisfied. So of course, uh, back to how we win the gun war. Of course, we have very strong teams, but also at the same time, we not only because we are OP, so we don't care other people's. As you can see, like as I, as I mentioned, we make friends. We first make everybody in our group to follow us. Then we negotiate with other group to work with them. Right, to work with them to reduce the pressure when we were fighting with our with our major rivals. Of course, there are going to be somebody they don't they don't they won't agree with us, right? So, if they don't agree with us, so be it. It's a war game, so we're gonna be ha has enemies. Otherwise, it could be very boring. And then, of course, like after we we have agreement, we have to do the agreement. That's why you see, even we are the winner of the gun war. But we give the gun building to everybody, right? For like for those like for like uh, there are a lot of buildings. For example, this one, right? Uh, we have connection to this one, right? So for this one, right? We don't take that. We give it to other factions, right? And therefore, and we never get into the the other group, the opponent group, like the shark, the the shark group or the wolf group. Their zone three, because like look. We have agreement so you can do your business over there we we, we, we follow rules and also like we share the century buildings right and then we give like for example those buildings those buildings those buildings none of those buildings they are ours we give it to our allies or our faction members right those building like the, this one is ours this building is other people so we so 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 we not just like like because we are strong so we're bullying everybody but we are strong but we also show respect to all the people they work with us and we deliver our promise so when we win the government war everybody max out got the benefit right so uh, except except the tiger group they got it messed up so but um, come on somebody going to be that be the bad guy right so unfortunately this time but they, they're pretty good fighters uh, but unfortunately, that this time they, they they choose the wrong side. So all right, so that's how we won. But also every success story, there is a story which we're not doing so well. So uh, what we didn't do with well in this government war, which is uh, there is one thing happened during government war, which is we changed our airline twice, right? So you see all airlines here. Right, we have our ally with CIM and let's say AT. None of them, they are our original allies. None of them, right? So we change our ally, we change all of our allies. I don't know what's the story behind that, but my feeling is like the ally they we 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 built together at the beginning, they didn't do much, but so they didn't do much and. Uh, I think there is some disagreement between the leadership or maybe they didn't do their, their promise. So which we end up with, we changed both airlines, not at the same time though. So we changed one, and another one is still doing their job. And like pa semi doing, semi, semi doing the jobs. And the basically like, in short, they didn't do much. The feedback is like, they didn't contribute the resources because they're airlines. And, uh, and they didn't fight and uh, they just, get carried by us and take the benefit. So we change it to these two airlines. 
even though they they're not super strong faction sorry this one is 21 million this one is a 90 out i used to be very short time i was with jt before so i know those people or some of them before so so at the time when we changed our lines i said cat can be one of them because like they, they, they if we align with them they, the number one they definitely not going to give any trouble number two they will do their best to support us so say we first we replace our airline with say then i don't know what happened so later on we change another airline and they replace the with cim so that's how we start here so if we, we want to say what can be improved in the next coming war maybe choose airlines more carefully it's not just be about the airlines their battle power because some faction they have some higher battle power but they are harder to work with right so in this kind of war, like since we're doing all the hard work, Mardis will just like use more allies, which more supportive, the more willing to following us, so following the rules. So that's what I'm trying to say. So okay, so that's the video for today. So so that's how we win the government war. And the, in this government war, oh well, there is some ah, I didn't get anything. <sighs> I didn't get anything. So yeah, anything else I want to talk about? The enforcers are kind of touched already. The only new info is professors, but he's so hard to upgrade. Oh, also, also oh, the first time I unlocked my formation, <laughs> so I finally I can choose formation. I'm still like doing the this like the bottom line, but uh, yeah, first time I do formations, and I believe like if the formation is important, if you are using a hitman to raid your enemies you better use hitman formation that's a common sense but also for my personal development so i build 4.3 473 million influence my target is a 500 million influence so i think i even if i didn't lose like over 1 million t4 troop during the raid i probably will have very close to 500 million influence as a free 100 percent free to play players and also like uh but of course, the, the troop is meant to, to fight, right? It's not, for, I'm not a farmer, farmer. So also for the, for the development, I maxed out the, I maxed out, uh, not casino. You can see I maxed out the casino. I maxed out uh, the advanced crew as well. So I maxed out this one. So which is pretty high because the, the last one is this one, right? This one, give me extra line of the maximum deployment crews. And also this one, right? This one. Also giving another crew. So now totally I have you, you can see here. Alright. See here I have a totally have a seven seven lines, which is pretty high. And also in this government war, you can unlock your force. Uh, let me just remove my camera here. Four slots for jewel and uh, I'm able to I got this one. I'm pretty lucky. I right, got this jewel. It's pretty OP. Haven't been I I I got for the where, where, where I got it for, I got it for a family council. Is it family council? Uh, where is it? <laughs> I remember there is a place where, where I can see like uh, all, all my, all my crystals. And, uh, weapons, weapon wise, weapon wise, you can see my weapon wise. I have all the, I have unlocked those like golden super weapons. Right, Th this is nothing to, for flex. It's not flex, right? This is normal. Everybody, if you play long enough, you eventually get those things. I just wonder where I got those. Where I can see those Jews? If I'm not from a council, is it from from here? Anyhow, there is a place you can see. Gallery, yeah, here, yeah. So family gallery is which I'm talking about. It's this one. The round building right if you click on that you can see like all the families i didn't spend any money I, i'll just use stuff so i have another spare one i have another spare one but of course this one is not as good as uh, as the one which i equipped and also i have a lot of jewels i think like the game should get developers should introduce something where you, where you can reuse those those crystals right because like they're sitting there there are too many of them same for same for like those things like what are we gonna do with with underboss exp when you reach level 60 i think it's the time to like uh, to to keep leveling your underboss to level up 99 
Also, what about those alcohols? Like those things, I got, I got so many. Can we sell them for like cash at the least? Because those things they're not doing anything, right? For those are family built material coupons, at least I can use them. Like I'm talking about like those coupons, where coupons are. Anyhow, you you see what I mean, right? So there are coupons you can yeah, those things, right? At least I can exchange for other resources, right? <laughs> but but for 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 those things, alcohols, handcuff and shankaro, which are supposed to be very valuable for unlocking our people chips, they have no use at all. I don't know. Do you need? If somebody knows, do you, for me you can help. Do we need those things for unlock T five chips? Maybe not, right? But talking about T five chips, so because you need to level up your there are there new building which is a family council here, this one. Where there is a further like investment, not just a further up, start up your buildings, right? Give you more stats and above, but also there is more investment trees here, and every investment costs like uh, family coins. <laughs> it's another very heavily pay to win thing, so I don't know. So yeah, so that's the new content for the game. So, all right, so I think I've been talking for long enough. How long been recording? Oh, 53 minutes already, 56 minutes already. So I've been talking for a long time already. So thank you for coming to check out this video. So I shared my experience, like and what I did in this government war and how we win the government war. Hopefully you found this video is entertaining and uh, informative. It'll help you with choosing your factions or, or maybe plan your strategy for your government war or, or whatever coming battle. So. Yeah, I wish you the success with in this game and all the bets with your game and I'll talk to you later. See you. Thank you for coming. Bye.